Okay, we're back. Well, hello and welcome back to Warhammer 2 Toad War. Uh, we're going to continue with our Servants of Fimonid or Fimia playthrough. Uh, last time, we had actually started to uh, begin to push back against the dwarves. Grimgore had gotten off his duff and started actually fighting them after having a very successful campaign against Clan Eshen. It seems. I'm rather glad at that. If Grimgore had disappeared or been defeated, then uh, we would be in a rather hard spot. Made a lot of enemies around here, and um, yeah, we, we are not strong enough to be able to deal with them all uh, on our own. At the moment, I'm hoping that the dwarves will be sending all of their armies over on over at Grimgore. So that we can sort of pick off stragglers or armies on their own around the place. I think we have Lightning Strike on Warlord Murdoch now. So we can yeah, pick and choose, well, which army we want to fight. But we took Dragonhorn Mine from Barrack Fire, I believe. Uh, let's see. They've got... As drag down here fighting against Clan Eshin. There's also Gorfang Rockgut here going against Clan Eshin also. Most astute. Apparently Knights of Kalidor are still around down here. I was looking at Nagashizar and Desolation of Nagash to colonize because they're apparently still ruins. So nobody's claimed ownership of them. Uh Grimgore I think it's currently defeated, um, because I think he got beaten by some dwarf armies up here while he was marching across. So hopefully we can uh, clear up this and push the dwarves back a bit. We do only have the one army, however our settlements are looking better. Uh, we will have access to our best Fumir units over here. We've also got access to Bale Fiends, our spellcasters. As well as River Trolls, Fen Beasts, Marsh Reavers, which we saw, saw last time, which are our monstrous cavalry. They did pretty well in that first battle. So I'm thinking Ekrond doesn't have a garrison building in it. We might go off and... Okay, there is an army there. There's an army up here. However, the army in Ekrond is just miners. They are armor piercing, but they're like the weakest dwarf unit. Got three units of long beards there, some miners, thunderers, quarrelers, and a thane. And they're led by I am a rune lord, not some smith. Thank you. A rune lord, level five. What? Physical resistance? No. Fifteen percent. No Vikram Halfhand over here. I'm hoping Thorgrim Grudgebearer isn't like hiding somewhere on his throne, ready to be carried off, carried into battle. We can just attack straight out. Oh, it's sack battle for 10,000. I'm very tempted for that. So tempted, I think we'll actually do that. They're also for March, so they're tired. Sure, let's do that. We'll charge through the front gate. Actually, our units can climb over the walls, can't they? Because uh, these guys aren't monsters. I kind of want to see what that will look like. Probably they'll just be walking up them. Or they'll just be standing there while they're going up the ladders because they won't have animations for that. Okay, let's deal with Ekrund. Gora's in Whitebeard. Uh, it's this, and it's this map. There's no straight path. I need a giant in my army because that's got Wall Breaker or Wall Destroyer through a mod which I play with. Um, all the miners actually have Wall Breaker as well, but I don't think they'll oblige us by knocking down their own walls. Call me kind. Call me silly. Uh, but I don't think that's something they'll do. Okay, go over there. 
go there. Our marsh reavers. The delightful large cavalry they are. I really like how they look. Warlord Murdike. Uh, Slurgus. Slurgus Swamp Breath. And Azazel <laughs> Doomborn. He's a little gobbo with big dreams, okay? Right. We really do need some more Femir in our army. Uh, monstrous Femir. Not the little ones. The little ones are, uh... They just don't cut it. Ladders on the walls. I want you to attack the walls. Attack the gates. The other things. And we're also unbreakable and uh, regenerating. So, you know, it's going to be a fresh hell trying to defeat us. No, stop. Never stop. Never surrender. You sneaky kids. Don't move. Thank you. Nice. Okay, what is this? This is not a criticism for the modders or anything. I just want to see this. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing that can be done about it. <laughs> yes, fear us. The Femir shall show their strength. <laughs> okay. They're all going to be tired now, but yeah. Okay, charge through. Uh, yeah. Lower their armor. Hey, monstrous cav. Could you just, like, charge through? They don't have anti-barge. Bonk. There we go. Oh, and I did see that apparently the next DLC has been announced for, uh... Warhammer 2 Total War. Though, I say announced, it seems like... It's at least been told what it is, rather than the name and what's in it. Apparently it's going to be based on the Wood Elves. Which is pretty nifty. Or was it the update coming is going to be fixing the it's going to be working on the Wood Elves? I think that might be it. The DLC is not mentioned to be of the Wood Elves, but the uh, sort of next faction update is going to be for the Wood Elves. I think. <laughs> oh jeez you were gonna hate me for how vague I just I am it's, I don't know anything else about it just for what I've read on the forum but sorry I can't remember ooh that's a good point yeah our lords can't get up on the walls shells are actually Having a bit of difficulty against them. Oh, look at those marsh reavers! Oh, one died. No! Two died, actually. Get back over here.
Dumb, 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 dumb. Chaos, Chaos. Wow. Have you dealt with them all? Up, down. They're good, they're terrified. Long beards. Get out of here with that heavy armor. Mo. We have defeated the banner carrier. Look, you're facing down all this, mate. Chaos! Just, just give up. Come on. Be a pal. Okay. Warhounds. Yeah. Chase down these guys over here. There's another group of miners up there. And the Marsh Reavers have poisonous attacks. against them and there <laughs> and there we go My Marsh Reavers. No. That's that. Okay, I was pressing the wrong button. Look, dwarves. I know that you've just taken this. You've t taken this place from the green skins, but you really should clean up the place a little. No pride. Okay. There we go. A slice of victory. Hundred and seventy one losses. Yay. Now Marsh Reavers got hundred and thirty five kills each. Very nice. <laughs> One of them did better though, because they didn't lose any models. But I got 19 kills, 29 for our familiar warriors. What's so useful during uh, against the miners? I think all the long beards were up on the walls, and my familiar warriors can't go on the walls to give them their sundered armor sundering. Okay, pillage and enslave. Armor of fortune, nice. Uh, hmm. actually, it's a bit of a problem. Move away, just so that we don't get garrison attacking us either. And, um... We'd get cursed to bad move. Not likely. Your army has quite a lot of, um... You want? <clears throat> gyrocopters. 
cannons, bugman's rangers, dwarf warriors with great axes and two long beards. And something. <laughs> As the Air Force, we have no answer to that because we have no ranged. Do we get ranged? I don't think we get any ranged units. None of the Fabia have ranged. Uh, Boglars don't have ranged. Warhounds, of course, don't have ranged. The Fen Beasts don't have ranged. River Trolls don't. Giant doesn't. Bloated Corpse doesn't. No. The only ranged we have, I think, is the Giant River Trolls hags. Uh, swamp Breath. <laughs> Magic Missile. It might be nice if we had a Boglar variant, which was equipped with, like, I don't know. Exploding mushrooms. <laughs> From the... It's not... Ex I don't know, just something. I was going to say rocks. Though it's interesting, actually. It's like the trolls. A complete lack of uh, ranged. Like the uh, vampire counts. There's no reason why we need ranged. They have flying, though. And we don't have flying either. Hmm. Okay. Out of me. Actually, no, we do have flying. We have the, um, frost worm. A very specific unit, and we can only get it in the north. But it is there. Let's get the Beast of Tashna. Um, can I actually see what the, uh, zotes are? Because we, we haven't actually seen them too much. I haven't, I've sort of purposely not looked at them too closely. Okay, so it's a single unit. Large, 500. So I suppose it's like a Shagoth. Zotes are incredibly ancient, very powerful creatures. They are solitary by nature, having next to no dealings with outsiders, but like with so many beasts, the lure of chaos could prove too much. Cause terror, see attacker from the mists. Missile resistance, 25%. Okay, I, I believe that's pretty much just like a uh, Dragon Ogre Shagoth. I mean, that's kind of what they are. They're like a toric reptile creature. Um, hmm. Sure. I mean, the thing is, once we deal with their ground units, their flying is going to be useless. They have to land to attack us. Vikram Halfhand. I mean, the Bugman's Rangers, hmm. They're good. Okay, our Marsh Reavers, our Chaos Warhounds, you dudes, Warlord Murdike. Slurger, Azazel, there we go, and you, you, I'm actually going to split you up into two groups just for a little bit more flexibility, okay, it's a cannon, Also, we'll have to have a look because, likewise, with the other banners, the Bugman's uh, Rangers have their unique banner. Have a unique banner. That looks so cool. The big Bugman B and two flagons of assumably Bugman's. So cool. With a unique, uh, like, unit champion or something to bear the standard. Very nice and all of Okay. Oh no, they're dropping bombs on us! Help! Wait, what are they doing with this cannon? Charge with a cannon! Ow! Damn it! Dwarves, that's not how you use cannons. 
they're determined to prove me wrong though. Okay, Bugbus Rangers are not anti-large, are they? Cannons. Them. Them. Get them. I'm sorry. Another cannon was shooting me? Or is it the steam cannons? Whatever. Dub, 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 dub. Yeah, we're just going to have to ignore their fly. <laughs> their fly. All their ground units have broken. They're probably going to flee some point now. You're not winning the current combat, excuse me. Just because you have no competition in the airs, in the air. Okay, here they come. Don't pile them. Are they all shattered? They are all shattered. Okay, good. And they're breaking. Good, good. Get out of here. Uh, I don't often see gyrocopters in battles. Nifty. I would like a mod which adds gyrocopter which looks like the old bottle, which is more of a uh thinking of Warcraft 2, which I was playing before, it's more like the gnomish flying machine. Okay, uh ornithopter kind of deal. This is so rotund. Ow. Get out of here! They do count as large, so the beasts of Tashna would uh, be able to deal with them. No, they're flying away! Damn it. Did we even kill any? Oh, we did. There's a smoking ruin there. Okay. Close, close, close victory. Uh, sure. I suppose because of the damage their bombs did? They actually didn't kill too many with their bombs. I suppose it was all HP damage. 13, 6, 9, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Bugman's Rangers did absolutely nothing. It got crushed. 2, 1, 4, 0, 6, 16, 26. <laughs> uh, yeah, the cannons did most of the work there. Not surprising, I suppose. But um, I thought we would have attacked them before. Our units are very closely clustered. With 60 units in this in this squad, and they're pretty large, even though they're not large units, um, a cannonball would, I suppose, tear through their ranks pretty easily. Okay, put them to chains. And we gain another uh, level up on Murdike and Sloger. And we gain a Biting Blade. Oh, nice, a Calador have been destroyed. Uh, did Grimgor destroy them? Shame their ancestors. Defeat the following lord in battle. 
Fear not Grundedrak for Scroll of Black Horror. That is extremely tempting. Don't think so. I really like that. Five turns. I'd have to pretty much force march my way up there. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, Grimgore's doing pretty good back here. I do want Ekrund though. I mean, could I even make that? Three turns, but he might move from there and he'd be re- I will not shame my clan. I don't think it's really worth just dropping everything and going up for that one item. It's a really- I really like Anzapol's Black Horror though. Okay, what do we get? Um, I want the Ancient Cunning. Yep. We need more ambush chance. Auto resolve and in trial. And we get Sapper. And get this. Good, no slaves here. I think I'd actually done that with the dragon horn mines. What's a chaos corruption? Two. Buildings and commandments. Ah oh, yeah, that's our okay. Uh, Slugger, you can get. Hmm. Yeah, Occam's Mind Razor. You don't have armor piercing. You've got 10. Having some more would be useful. Person Bad Moon level 2. Ancient Cunning. I am a rune lord, not some smith. Okay, you're probably going to go off and attack. Actually, we'd win. Not likely. Hmm. All that money I've got, I could get the Dira construct that allows me to get chaos giants, bloated corpses, and fenhawks. Definitely want the giant, as I said, for the wallbreaker ability it's got down there. Also, this allows me to get more bale fiends. Yep. And the other building. Now, hmm. I could get Chaos Corruption. Income for sacking settlements plus 30% all forces in adjacent regions. That's not provinces. So that would be Dragonhorn Mines, Bitterstone Mines, Valaya Sorrow, Crooked Fang Fort, I think. Essentially, it's the regions which surround Morgheim. Which is this. So it would be here, not there, here, here, here. I think there? This is my understanding anyway. Um. This one. But it wouldn't be like Ekrund or any of these. They're too far away. And I'm going to probably end up... I'm not attacking over here. And this is the last settlement, so... Not really that useful. Or I could get this, which increases recruitment capacity and also recruit rank. Or this. Which gives me Boglars. And also allows me to get Night Goblin Shamans. But I already have one. And I don't really want another. Or I could get this, which gives me 400, but also a lot of public order and uh, slave decline rate. I think I'll just get War Painter. There we go. And we don't have a level 5 on our set settlement. Only in the north do we get level 5. It doesn't matter too much. The only building which we get for level 5 is the uh, building which allows us to get Chaos Soaps and... Um, Frost worms, and well, it makes sense that we can only get those ones in the very north. Maybe not chaos soats too much, but I don't know too much about chaos soats. Uh, but frost worms, definitely. Talia has been invited by our enemies, border princes, to fight against us. 
Okay. Yep. Won't attack them. Bye. Actually, I can't. I have no time for this. Uh. Yep. Go chase them down. Sacrifice the captives. And. Force march back. On you, I'm going to get spread public order. We're going to have problems with that until we start getting our uh, Chaos Corruption buildings going. Uh, build the Slave Dungeon. Get the Scale Sierra. Be able to afford a second army. Yeah, get that, get that, and get that. Spend the money. We have it. And we don't really need to spend it on anything else down here. Uh, let's see. Characters, osmosis, local populace. Yeah. What's local populace for a corruption? Four. Jeez. We can overcome that. It's going to be difficult, though. It's going to be a rebellion here. We sh will be able to deal with it, even if they spawn and attack next turn. We've got Fim Guard here. As well as a massive amount of Boglars and Churls. Oh, it's just... Bloody hand tribe. What's going on? Military alliance between the Golden Order and Karasa Karak and Karak Hearn. Rimgor gets a wire on Vulture Mountain. War declared last defenders and Ugma tribe and Skullcrag. Karak Hearn declares war on Skullcrag. Karak Hearn declares war on Grimgor's Ard Boys and on the Ugma tribe. Wow, Vulture Mountain. Really? All the way down there? I, I suppose. I mean, aren't you attacking Clan Eshin currently? It would make more sense to be, uh, Blade Rock. <laughs> I mean, you're going to be gaining units. I mean, as long as you don't just turn around and lose focus. Uh, whatever. Ah, uh, get Occam's Mind Razor level 2. Okay, how many turns did this? We got two. Hey, we actually got our ambush attack off on the f by attacking them. Nice. So that can happen. Okay, good. That makes me a bit more confident in attacking people. You don't get Brutes of the Hound because they're Marauders. We get Weird Spawn, though. They have Armor Sundering. That's actually pretty nice. I mean, we have armor sundering on our units anyway, but... It doesn't stack, though. Um... There's a bad moon, level 3. Warlord Murdike. Engine Cunning, level 3. Can you attack Bitter Stone Mine? Are you close enough? I don't think you are. Nope. That's fine. Can attack it next turn. Uh, aggressive? Van Suhatuf Van Suhatufos or Iber Death Dealer? Iber Death Dealer? Let's get Van Suhatufos. And he can start recruiting, I suppose, a few fellows here. Get some shells. Get a death quest. And some reavers, maybe. Not too much. Just some extra dudes. Maybe a unit of familiar warriors or something. I do like how, like, actual skilled familiar in our army are very limited. 
The very is, we only have the Fumia warriors. I like that because the Fumia are supposed to be rather. View in number, uh, ignoring the death quest and Fumia shells. Oh yes, I should look to the south also. Some the walls there. Um, but like actually skilled, trained Fumia. Mission aborted. Yeah, fine. Good that I didn't go for it anyway. Yeah, Agro Migdal. Okay. Get a bit of stone mine. Water resolve. I'm going to pillage and enslave. And we'll enshroud it. Public order goes through the roof again, but that's fine. Just build dirt mounds. And what does Slugger get? Ritualistic Frenzy. Um, Occam's Mind Razor level 3. The Dyke, you can get Order Chaos. Upkeep reduction would be nice also. Unnatural healing. Get from the mists. More ambush chance. Okay, we've got level four. I could get giant river troll hag. That costs 500. Get that. Fianna Fim. The Fianna are the elite of the Fim warriors, handpicked sometimes at birth, sometimes as a result of some great deed. They cause encourage too. Or Fim guard. Twelve in the squads for both of them. Same with Fimia warriors. But that's just just look at how much this has drained our uh, income. I'm gonna get. Rid of some of the Fumia shells. Okay. Oh, we... Yeah, we lost the uh, thing because Grimgore went and... squished that dwarf. I've been looking forward to this. Prepare to be ripped to shreds. Tic-tac-toe, you want peace with us. Yes. Perhaps losing one of their allies attacking us down there, other factions to the south of us will declare peace. I think I saw Grombrindle just disappear in here somewhere. That sneaky git. What brings the despicable dwarf scum before me? Do they come to beg? Uh, you want peace? No. Oh, hey, we discover uh, Grumbrindle. Is this army made up of? Long beards, rangers, some quarrelers, rangers. Grudge throwers, slayers. I mean, I am the white dwarf. Hi. Ha! <laughs> Ambush. Putting all those points into it is paying off. I wonder whether actually having the ambush bonuses affects the uh, ambush you get as a as a as an attack. I'm guessing so. Rather than just the ambush chance. Be more useful if it does. Okay. Uh shells. You're going to attack the rear there. Death quest. Attack like this. 
Reavers. Gotta try and keep you away from Grumbrindle. He's going to be mean. No. Okay. Would like you to attack over there. There we go. Thank you. You can't overcast a withering. Whatever. Ooh, can you now? No. The eleven. Whatever, they're all fleeing. Marsh Reavers, over here. <laughs> Alright, have a good play. Where's Grumbrindle? Uh, Uh, you over here? Do slayers have a banner? I see. Ooh. Hmm. Must have been killed pretty quickly. Oh, there he is. Where is he? Oh, he's currently underneath several Vermeer. Oh no, there he is. <laughs> why ha why couldn't I see you? That's a That's an action packed stance. For me it's doing like a belly flop on him. Uh Oh, it's just flying. Okay. Dum 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 dum. Okay, lower the armor. Haven't fled yet. Now some of them have come back. He's broken, but he's unbreakable. Grumbrindle used his ability too late, it seems. Let's uh, 
Yeah. Gombrindle has no fear. Well, you might have no fear, but so do we. And ours is permanent for this whole battle, anyway. And you break. Turns out Gombrindle does have fear. The fear is, uh, familiar. Hey, that rhymes. Get him. Oh. Do not shame your ancestors. Too late. Okay. Decisive victory. Ooh, and we're going to get the trait for defeating Grumbrindle now. That's going to be... What is that? Is that... Increased reinforcement range causes terror against dwarves. Unbreakable. Hmm. The unbreakable you get from defeating Gotrek and Felix. Nice. Ah, uh, more slaves. Okay, what do we get? Causes terror in fighting against dwarves. Well, that's fine. I mean, we cause terror anyway because we have the terrifying mask of E, but... Bye-bye. Yeah, sacrifice them. Rimpeck. Ooh, potion of healing. Nice. Okay, I'm going to want you to get to the Bitterstone Mine. Uh, you, stimulate growth. You, spread public order. Got two, so you can get three points of that. Monstrous fiends, what's this? Witlessly stupid, yet bone-crushingly powerful. Do not be deceived. I don't... Oh, that's just, yeah, the generic thing for, uh, monstrous units. I wouldn't call Fubia stupid. Um, melee attack plus 15 for Norse controls. Norse got ice trolls. What's this do? Melee defense plus 15 for all Fubia units and leadership plus 10. Okay, well, melee defense is nice. Does that help us? Let's see. Um, we got 43. 26. Yes, that seems to help them. That's nice. Okay. How's our public order here for the slaves? Minus four. And how much income are we getting from the slaves? 986. Actually, uh, rather nice now. And how full are we on slaves here? 32%. Okay, and turn. Whichever woeful death hey, Deathmaster. Uh, just because you're losing against our buddy Grimgore doesn't mean I'm going to get peace with you. Hey, stop picking on us, us. Nope, sorry. Clan Agron declares war on Grimgore's Ard Boys and Ugma tribe. They also get a military alliance with the Border Princes. They failed to perform assault garrison against our uh, against Bitterstone Mine. Bowmen of Orion get peace with Aswad Sithen. I'll be interested to see what Creative Assembly comes up with to uh, help the uh, Wood Elves. Especially with the Amber mechanic for the campaign, it's just kind of silly as it is at the moment. Warriors. What do we get up here? Physical resistance for Sherl's death quest. 
pretty nice. Ward save. Really defense and armor. That's pretty nice. Fight or die. 24% attack. What's this? Under the eyes of the gods. The familiar will do anything for but a moment of attention from the dark gods. No act of bravery is too foolhardy. No act of cruelty too savage. For 35 seconds, he gets plus 20% base weapon damage, plus 20% armor piercing weapon damage, plus 15% charge bonus, 10 melee attack, and unbreakable. Okay. I mean... It's... Hmm. So he'd have... 51 melee attack. On top of the 12 I'd get. So he'd be up to like 60 something melee attack. Hmm. Increases speed and charge bonus for uh, Chaos Warhounds. I don't just want to get fueled by war. We need more armies. Yeah. And upkeep reduction cost will help us a lot with that. Okay. Kill a bunch of goblins. Slave them. And I want you to move up to, uh... Deal with the Stone Mine Tower. Come to think of it. Dominance, yes, get you. And we'll give you a name. Uh, let's see. Um... Trezek. Trezek Marsh Trekker. Okay. At we. Chaos. Can I do up in the north? Why is Nordland all the way up here in Volksgrad? Why does Hockland own Prague? What's going on? How many more turns? 14 turns until we get the Dark Palace. Ugh. End turn. Oh, okay. Someone's raiding floating village. Right. They might not be right next to the settlement. What's that name? Good lord. Um, but we might have to send our guy down to deal with them. Or to dissuade them. Yeah, builder. Yeah, because they're just here. They could just be there. We do have a large garrison there. Just force march down there. Go over here. I want you to go to here. There is no dwarves there, so go over to Stonewine Tower. What's your name? Gorazin Arkandrak Carlson. Okay. I mean, it's kind of what I'd do. They've declared a war against uh, faction all the way down here, but they're using their war against 
the uh, Jurassic Iraq. That will fail it, but... Oops, I get... If they had declared the war against Karazik Iraq, they probably would end up with a better trophy. Uh, what am I going to do with you? Serve or die. Okay, in turn. We encounter Karak Hearn and Clan Ferric. Mark who's whatever the heck his name is, up to possibly try and slow us down, but he's too slow. Spirit of the Jungle is no more. And seasonable weather. Okay, recruitment cost is down, 50%. That's rather nice. I was looking to see which province that was in, but it's not. It's just everywhere, apparently. Um. In Trout. Oh, we've lost the bonus. Maybe I should have attacked it. Killing Eye, Fim Death Quest. When Killing Eye Clan was left without a leader, the retinue of Fim warriors seek out, set out to seek a new Merg or their ultimate annihilation. The Merg are the female, like, matriarchs of the Fimir. Um, I think they are anyway. Uh, okay, yep, get that. And, uh, Dryach, Dryach, Bewitchment. Start causing that chaos corruption. And you hop in here to, uh, stimulate growth. Hop over to the floating village. Um. What if I grow? Okay, you get regeneration and you find a feather foe toke. Orc. Okay. Right. I can't conduit. Magical reserves. I think, I'm pretty sure you already are immortal. I did lose you earlier, didn't I? I mean, you're our legendary lord. Or, <laughs> essentially. So I'm pretty sure he is already immortal. I can't remember though. I kind of want to get it just just to make sure that he won't die because I don't want all the time and effort we've put into leveling him up to be for naught if I happen to have him die. Um. We chaos. So what is the difference with these ones? Ooh. They have regeneration and unbreakable in the space and frenzy. Okay. 10%. Right. <laughs> both of them, they were both unbreakable. Um, pretty nice. Tries to correct Confederates Karakazul. Grum, uh, not Grum Brindle. Thorgrim Grudgebearer is raiding Stone Mine Tower. There he is. There he is. On his, uh, little, little seat. Come on, Karazakarak, Confederate with, uh, Arabia's Prospectors. 
<laughs> I want to be fighting Gravius Prospector Sans. Lazy. Oh yeah, because he was a procrastinator already. Why should I stir? Do my followers not work in my stead? It's just getting worse and worse. Nurgle would bless the indolence if it didn't breed such incompetence. <laughs> minus 15% speed, minus 10% campaign movement range, and plus 10% enemy hero action success chance. Okay, upgrade. Ekrund. Oh, hey, public order is actually raising. Huh. Nice. Uh, Tresak. Go up here. Stone mine tower. You can get the bloodstained altar. What is your army? Dwarves. <laughs> Big surprise. Is there another army behind you? Not that it matters. We have... Lightning strike. And we get an ambush attack on him. Hey, Thorgrim. How's it going? Let's topple him off his throne. Leave us alone! We just want to exist! And get the blessing of the Chaos Gods. Is that so much to ask? Not in my name. Oh, good. We weren't asking you. Uh, let's see. Yep. Put the shells back here. We're not unbreakable. I'm going to have to remember that. Our favor of the dark gods has run out. So, yeah. We shouldn't have too much of a problem, but... Uh, a lot of slayers. What am I going to do? Okay, Fim death quest. Go on either side there. Marsh Reavers... You're going to attack over here, along with these dudes. You go there. You go there. You go there. Okay. Oh, and the Fumia Warriors. Can't forget you. Actually, I kind of want you over here. I don't want my large units near the uh, Slayers. Okay, there we go. Uh, once again, our uh, Fim Death Quest and Shells do not count as large. They're not big enough. So the anti-large of the Slayers should mean nothing. Okay, get that. Itchy nuisance. Oh god, it etches! By the ancestors! Stop, stop. Okay, they're fleeing. They're terrified. Okay, I want you out of there. You're getting attacked by s slayers. Marsh Reavers, you've done your charge. I want you separate from the Warhounds now. Warhounds. I want you all back here. In Warriors. Fumia. Whatever you call it. Yeah, you're Fumia Warriors. Okay. Bam. Attack those long beards. Oh, 
dodge him in the rear there. Hello, here comes the armor piercing. Or armor sundering. Nice. Okay. Good. Where's Thorgrim? There he is. I'm sure the uh, that goblin shaman is appreciating us fighting against the dwarves. That's the sound of war, though. Warhounds make. Chomp, 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 chomp. Ugh. I'm gonna be chewing through his armor all the way, all, through his health all the way until the end of the end of the map. I kind of want to make sure he's dead, though. Get him! Run! Oh, look, you've got your banner still. I like how he's got an engineering helmet. Do not shame your ancestors. That's neat. Run! Mark this day in the book! Stop. There he goes. What did you just get on you? Oh, rage. 89. Ooh. There we go. It's nice a victory, as it should be. 90.75 for our marsh rate. And they're up to rank 7. Not about for me a death quest to rank 7, they're all rank 6. Most of our shells are too. And our female warriors, they're all really just on the cusp of getting to first gold chevron. Who got the most kills there? Thorgrim was 21. We only lost 92, 94. Nice. Put the chains or slaves. Grudge killer. What to use to pad my mattress? I know, finest dwarf beard. Construction cost minus 10% for all buildings, local profits, and research rate plus 10%. Factor one. Okay. Research rate's not as useful, but. Try and lay an ambush here. If I can catch some of these guys out. Nice. Uh, I can conduit. Slogan, I want on you. Withering level two. Lord Murdike. My war. Going to the floating village. Start recruiting some more units now. Um, I would like some familiar warriors. The great weapons ones are anti-large. I think there's just dwarves down there. Let's just get some familiar warriors. And the end of bloated corpses say that their upkeep was like. Oh, that's because of the um. What's it called? Yeah, having three armies. The upkeep's gone up because of supply lines. Um, so expensive upkeep-wise. <laughs> it's nearly 400 for this unit. Oh, 
kind of want to get... And beasts. And Hulks. Uh, Fen Hulk is single unit. Um. I mean, this is where you get Boglars, but uh, get some Warhounds. Actually, with may as well get Poison Warhounds. They're more expensive, but like twenty more expensive as opposed to like two hundred. <laughs> more expensive for our other units. Okay. Enter. It's a good feeling getting over that initial hump and actually having an army which is able to... <sighs> deal some damage. Oh, hey, Grumbrindle's back. And you're attacking Dragonhorn Mines. You have an army of, uh, miners. I can't really deal with that though. We have shells. I'm just going to auto resolve that. We'll lose, but... Oh, we just ran off. Okay. Bye, Grumbrindle. It was a level one settlement with balls in it. There was nothing else of value in there anyway. Cause public order issues. Are you going to march down here? You actually saw us. Okay. You have cannons, thunderers, gyrocopters, one unit of long beards. Bye. What's that? Oh, that's the, uh, My axe for war. Black Bucktooth. Just repair that. Uh. March down here. I mean, when we move down here, they're going to come and attack, um, Stonemine Tower. Get two Marsh Reavers. Get another unit of those. Um. Get more Death Quest. And some shells. And I'm going to get another Bale Fiend. Melee attack plus five, horseman, or a diabolic splendor, or intelligent. Let's see, shadows. Shadows is useful. Fire is more buffing. Yeah, get shadows. Oh, we don't get levels to spend on you? Um, what am I going to call you? Greg. Um. Green waters. But also get. Giant river troll hag. Those are giant river troll hags! <laughs> you can't fool me. Um. Actually, hold on. Uh, I'm just going to save before we do this. Just in case. Yeah, okay. Ah. Uh. Okay, yeah, there's some... Right. So... You have the stats of a river troll hag, you have the abilities of a river troll hag, you have the description of a hobgoblin Khan. 
and you have the appearance of a um, Vampire Coast captain. Okay, I think we'll just reload. Um, I think during battle it might just appear fine, but I don't really want to mess around with it. I think I've seen other people mentioning that. It's just a bit of a error. Possibly. I'll make a note of it. Let's see. Okay. There we go. Right. So, I get then. Another one of these? Yeah, sure. Get you. And we'll call you. Sirach. Scorch. Fist. Yeah, there we go. In turn. So, Grom Brindle, what are you going to do? We're going to have to get rid of those dwarf settlements to the south of us. You're coming straight for us. Okay. I'm assuming Barak Var is going to go straight for Stone Mine Tower. Oh hey! Karata Crack did confederate with Grabian's Prospectors! <laughs> Lovely! Okay. Um, so we're going to be dealing with high tech, tech, high technological uh, dwarven shenanigans. They're also going to be rather easy to defeat now. Uh, it's more just because I wanted to see the, uh... <laughs> um, it's more just because I wanted to see the Greybeard's Prospectors units. But... Heck, if they're... You know, doing that then. Okay. Got a bit of stone mine. You move up here. I want to have. I want you to see whether there's um. So they're not going to be building dwarf warriors and all that now. They're going to be building like the uh, shield walls and uh, heavy thunderers and so on and so forth. Okay. Up in there. Actually, and you quit running there, Grog. There we go. It's actually a pretty nice raiding group we've got here. Still costs the earth, though, brah. Actually, a bit more expensive than my main one. No, it's not. 300 less. Are in the negative, but our sacking has given us quite the, uh, a timely arrival. My warhounds have not eaten in days. Bit of a surplusing cash. Um, time for peace. My planned schemes have shifted to change. Again, you're just saying that because you're getting your ass whooped by Grimgor. Grimgor don't like no stinky, small, schemy little rats. Not good for crumping. Well, they're good for crumping, but they're not good for a proper fight. Holding my garrisons. Thorgrim Grudgebearer is now subordinate. I'm sorry? What's that? Children of the Old Ones? I've never seen that banner before. Which faction is that? Where the heck did that come from? Um.
Are they a... I'm assume... I assume they're a, uh... Lizardman faction. No idea where they'd be, though. Okay, Ekrund. Blood font. Rubble walls. Yep, you could just sit around here, just keeping an eye on things. I want you to move across the river. And we'll go take Agril Migdal. I'm actually going to send you down to Grontimingol. Oh, rivers with roads over them. Luxury. Okay, uh, what research? Anything which is going to be beneficial for us. Longer holes. Extra income from sacking settlements. It's kind of funny, like, getting bonuses to sacking for the money you get from sacking settlements. I suppose it's like your people learning to be more thorough. But in a way, it also feels like they're creating, like, money out of nothing. <laughs> it's like, oh, there's 2,000 gold here. And then with a few upgrades, it's like, oh, now there's like 3,500. We found it under the mattress. What is that children of the old one? We come from here. We could probably sail over and attack Myrmidons. They do have walls, though. Starfort. City barracks. Foundry. Okay. Agro Migdal. Do I actually want these? There's no chaos corruption here. Pillage and enslave. Yeah, and shroud. Just take it. Blood font. Uh. No cost mystify miasma. Fireball. Van Zutafos. Rap marcher. Dragon Horn Mines. Upgrade the Blood Font to the Blood Stained Altar. Going to get a Rebellion there also. However, we should be able to deal with that by the time we come back. Okay, Grumbrindle again. How's this going? The garrison is Obsidian Legionnaires. Mindbreakers. Yep, sure. Damn it, Grumbrindle. Why won't you stay dead? Hey, Ronald. of dwarves
Okay, once you there, once you there, you up there. Thunder of fire. Again, we're not unbreakable. Yeah, you attack over there. You get that. No, I don't think that. There we go. Soften the bomb. Do they actually have banners? I was going to say I don't think they'd have banners. Oh no, that's because we're fighting against um Rombrindle and he has some uh yeah, normal dwarf units. So they would have the banners, but the uh Grabius Prospectors units wouldn't have banners. Such as these ones here. But the miners do. Uh, but yeah, but they're not showing up properly. Which is fine. No. Okay, go after them. Come back here. Actually, those engineers. Bark, bark. Bonk. What's still holding on? Nothing. It's probably Grombrindle using his. And they have no fear. Or <laughs> yes. Grumbrindle, you just and they have no and they show no no fear. He's actually a space marine in disguise. It's a very good disguise. Chaos Another field of flattened Green, uh, flattened dwarves and also shells. They are my grumpers. They show no no fear. Our clans will shoot us. No, 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 no. Man, this day in the book. Come yeah, on. Get him. There we go. This is in a settlement anyway, so we don't need to chase them all down. It's just fun watching them. Got 35 kills. Their bolt thrower got one. 35 from the Slayers. Yeah, we nearly lost a unit of shells. Hey, one of our death quests got up to rank 7. Nice. Also, our Fibia Warriors got up to rank 7 too. They got 70 kills. 161 and 59 for our Marsh Reavers. Uh, 
Uh, pillage and enslave. And then we'll just take it again. And shroud. Because honestly, that is so much more money than what we could ever get from it. Um, magical reserves. You. Bad cat mushrooms, I suppose. Warlord Murdoch. Now, let's see. We haven't chosen one of these. We've got three abilities here which we can choose from. Worthless Slaves, which reduces the upkeep for Boglars and Shirls by 70%. Not Death Quest, though. Uh, Warriors Elite, or Warrior Elite, which is melee defense plus 8 for familiar Warriors, Fim Guard, and Fianna Fim. Also, Recruit Rank plus 4, but it increases recruitment cost and upkeep by plus 15%, which would be offset by Fueled by War. And it's not for all of our units. Uh, and that's, at the moment, that would only affect one unit in our army. Well, Untamed Monstrosities. Which gives Gorilla Deployment. I assume Vanguard Deployment for Zotes, Giants, and Trolls. Also gives them Frenzy. And also enables Rampage. But we don't have any of those in it. That's why I haven't gotten it. Like, this one would be useful early on. And then this one later on. And this one, I suppose if you wanted to make use of like trolls and zotes and all that. But it takes so long to get them. And we're not fighting up in the north where we'd be able to get the zotes. Actually, I think I'll just hold off on that and I'll get fueled by war. Upkeep cost reduction again. Yay. Um, okay. Public order actually is going to be an issue here because we don't have the commandment. It's not going to be able to cause just like five chaos corruption. 60 for conquest because we took two provinces. Uh. We are at war with the uh, chaos dwarves. But they're not really doing anything. You what? Grimgore, please, like, attack Karazik Iraq. You, you have these, and you have a war. Mostly snotlings. Over around there. Uh, yep. I said, end turn. Ooh, it's a chaos, chaos uh, rebellion now. Skins. I kind of wish it would actually tell you what type of rebellion it was going to be. I am most important biggest Skaven. You will hear Mimi. Warlock. Nope. Military alliance between Marienburg and Nordland. Actually, also, yes, uh, because Karata Karak confederated with um... Grabius Prospectors. The capital was down here. Karasa Crack's no longer the capital. Uh, the trade's going to be... They're not going to be making any money from trade because their uh, capital's not collect connected by land. Okay, force march all the way up there. I suppose... I will have you dominating presence. Yeah. Jar. Got barrages. Just 
sapping all the vampir all the uh, chaos corruption away. Yeah, and it seems like that odd. No. Oh, wait, hang on. Ashridge Mountain has been raised. So was that done by the Lizardmen or by not Greenskins? Because I'd see their army if it was uh, Grimgore's lads. Oh, there's Grimgore. You're going to take Barrack Far. I'd like that. Fine, whatever. Well, thank you for getting rid of them for me, though. Um, I suppose we could go and attack border princes. It's nice seeing the green skins be so efficient now. Or effective. And efficient. They're actually able to uh, make a difference on the map. I say, as they lose their armies against Lan Angrund. Well, hello! I mean, what were they going to do, really? Rimgore is right there. I'm glad that they fought him. Beastmen declare war on Border Princes, Chevaliers de Leoness, Barakvar, Caliphant of Araby declares war on Tylia, Gravius Prospectors, Barakvar, Border Princes, and Chevaliers de Leoness. Is Araby actually expanding? I have never really seen them spread out. Oh no. Apparently, Chevaliers de Leoness own El Hike. That means that they must have spread out from them. Oh, they assassinated my character. Ooh. Okay. No, kill them. Enslave them. And. I want you to get. Blood font. And also rubble. So, I was going to go and attack Maragliano, but. Uh, no, not Maragliano. Myrmidons. However. Considering this, I think we'll march up and uh, go and take Barak Var, because I thought Grimgore would take this. Tiny occupied elven colony. That's actually generating us a fair amount of money. Look at that. One hundred and fifty, three hundred. It provides a garrison of a bloated corpse and Norsegard ice trolls. That's odd. <laughs> Did we get anything else? No. I thought maybe some other buildings would be a bit odd there, but nope. That's fine. Get both of them. And oh, I don't know. I, I I don't really care for this province. We don't need it. Just go back to the floating village. We we'll just go back home. We got the money there. This Western Badlands is much more. Prof profitable for us and we're on ver we're on our way to uh having solid control over it the commandant i mean we could go to war with kemri oh that's new mass is spreading out a there. timely arrival oh hello what do you want no
the uh, yeah, children of the old one. Wallberry. Uh, on you, I want a number of pendulum level two. Okay, have a look in here. Heavy iron, and also some more money. Got to Doc Karaz. Dragonhorn Mines, I want. Blood font. Upgrade to rubble walls. We get blood font. Or blood stained altar. Go up through the floating village. Stop skirting around the swamps. We don't skirt around the swamps here, we live in them, so we have to go through them. Uh... Live in the swamps, but you don't want to spend any time in the swamps. Okay. Outgrade shanty town, shanty towers. I'm really surprised you haven't declared war on us. I mean, the time's probably coming. Chaos Crutcher is 100% there. I'm just going to demolish the buildings. Yes, yes, yes. Don't care about that region. Followers of the Gash have been united against us. By whom, might I ask? Greybeard's Prospectors. Okay. Yeah, foreign Trespasser in Belagar Ironhammer. I'm sure that's going to be fine. S1 Th Sithans. Declare war on the last defenders and on Karak Zorn. Warlord Murdike gets fortunate. We discover an ambusher. We lose Gronty Mingle. Stop oh look, yeah, Teeth Snatchers popped up. Stay hey, Teeth Snatchers. Or I'll take you. No, you're rank 101. We're actually strength rank 20. That's quite a bit better than like 90 something we were a number of like a session or two ago. How much money are we getting from slaves? 2,666. Okay, yep, get blood stained altar. Chaos corruption here is going up to 60% with 30. Yep. Turbuff. Turbuff. Uh, yep. Okay. Take it. Sack it. Colonize it. I do that for the money, but also for the, uh, favor of the Dark Gods. And... Bleh. Earthing. that. Get the dirt mounds. Yep, yep, yep. In turn. Okay, and I think we'll go and attack been looking forward far. To this. Oh, hey, Cetra. To be ripped to shreds. What do you want? Not aggression pact. The Tomb Kings of Nehekara have much to offer their allies. Uh, not aggression pact. Yeah, sure. 
Military access and a trade agreement. Actually, we're gonna... Uh, no, we're not going to lose that. Because we're bordering you with the marshes of madness. My wealth and power know no bounds, and I am generous to those who treat me with the respect I deserve. Your little offer is acceptable. Meager and uninteresting, but acceptable. Eh, fine. Whatever. Best buds! We encounter Reichland. Bone Rattlers have been destroyed. Golden Order declare war on Clan Ferric. Tylia hasn't done anything either. They just get invited to war against factions which have no relevance to them. But yeah, sure, we'll go to war with these guys. Where are they? I don't know. <laughs> Children of the Old Ones are still there. Okay, um, it's Spawn of Chaos. Experience. Do you have walls? No, you do not. Uh, yep. Oh, they've just got lords there for. Won't be involved in the battle with a lightning strike. My voice isn't gravelly enough. Okay, let's go take Barrack Far. Are we going to climb the walls? Of course. Get to there. Over there. Over there. Oh, no, don't just do that. Come on. Don't be too lazy. Order them into groups. It will be less pain later on. Okay. You two over there. You two over there, even though you're completely on the wrong sides. Uh, uh. Uh, where's the other group? Chaos there they are. Good. Okay. You go there. You go there. You go there, and you go there. All the lizards just charging the gate. Well, I just noticed it. I like how the tail of the Femir is like hanging over the edge. That's nice. Yes, show them the strength of the Famir. Did we break that already? No. <laughs> oh boy. Get in there. Don't really want you to be climbing the walls.
wasn't overcast or anything, but. Hey there, buddy. Haha, you thought I was going to attack with my weapon. I keep hearing this for me and I'm so used to hearing these voices for the um for the for the uh Ara Araby faction there we go I don't think they use those voices anymore they might cannons don't hurt my lizards they're actually hurting a fair bit come on what are you doing don't just stand there Taking cannonballs. Iron breakers. Neat. would like if you would stop getting so caught up on like a lord again ironbreakers have their unique banner very neat I like the helmet that guy's got don't have any magic missile that's going to do a lot 25% missile resistance on a gyrocopter jeez okay hey okay and Barakfar is out. Under three fifty three lost. Uh nothing of value. Four hounds. Which are kind of more valuable than the shells. I mean the shells and the death quest. No, the shells do do a good job. Um they're certainly tougher than their expendable nature would suggest. Think. Money, money. Pillage and enslave. Wait, what's their stats? 45, 44? Yeah. 
We have got some bonuses on them. Warrior Bane. Destroyer. And Shroud. Ooh, what's this? Jade Scepter Temple. Ooh! Oh, that's actually quite good for us. Because it causes Chaos Corruption. Plus 10 leadership. Plus 30% movement for armies starting in this province. Plus 25% movement range for armies starting in an adjacent province. Plus 40 growth. Cultists have dug up an underground temple with a golden six-armed woman and the body of a monstrous serpent. The studies recognize this as an aspect of the Chaos God Slanesh. Sure. Build the, uh, idol. And get dirt mounds. I'm actually going to get stimulate growth on you. What else has I got? Uh, plus 10 leadership when under siege. Plus 5% casualty replenishment rate. Plus 4 chaos corruption in all regions in adjacent provinces. And plus 6 chaos corruption in local provinces. Okay. Yeah. So adjacent provinces, that would be Akendorf, Razakarak, Iron Rock, or not Iron Rock, Black Crag. The Western Badland. Also, I th okay, I've had this question before. I think the ocean... Counts as neighboring provinces because we're like because Barrack Bar is part of this Black Gulf area, which continues down to about here. I think Myrmidons would also count for the chaos corruption, as well as um, Dolbara's Southern Badlands region. Could be wrong on that, but I remember one of my previous plays I was trying to figure out where corruption was coming from and it I'm pretty sure it turned out that it was caused by other regions which were in the same sort of bordering the same ocean as well. Okay, well, that's going pretty well. Uh Agro Migdalas. Going to be upgraded. I don't care. Go to Morgheim. Actually got to recruit something else with you. Um, I got the money. Let's get a Chaos Giant. Yeah. I might actually get rid of one of my shells. And get some... Uh, Fim Guard? I'm thinking Fianna Fim, but if I get them, I want to get them in Warlord Murdoch's army. Give it a rebellion there, that doesn't matter. I am going to end turn, and we'll probably call it for this session come the next turn. Done a lot of progress. We've taken the Western Badlands. We've beaten the dwarves back, helped Grimgore. Uh, even though we haven't fought side by side in battle. And we've got Barak Far. And we're in a pretty good position now. Our armies are strong. They can't really do much to stop us. We have good income. We have a lot of slaves. We have two full provinces and possibly a third one on its way with Barak Far. The other's Trickster's Shard, Mist Stalkers. But, yeah. And from there, I don't know. Akendorf, Matorka, Zvorak, Myrmidons. We're not at war with the Empire. But take Karazakarak. I always go for Karazakarak. <laughs> Um, when we're down here. It's just such a big target. I won't spend any of this. 
I think I'll let Grimgore deal with that. I think we'll focus down here because we don't fight against the uh, border princes too often, so we'll do that. We'll go down here. Land Scry is still the Skaven Blight. Does the province, does the region here count as swamps? It does. Um, yeah, we'll probably go to uh, Moragliano down along the coastline. Of course, you know, subject to change based on where enemy armies are coming from, but Grimgore. He is actually retreating back here. Looks like Deathmaster Snitch has gotten things together. Ash Ridge Mountains is also taken back by the uh, Chaos Dwarves. Clan Vul Vulcan there is still around. But, yeah. March along down that way. However, we'll save it there, and we'll continue with this next time. I think this is episode 4, so the next one might be the last one. Yeah, I'll also try and get some... Chaos Soaps. Something like that. I think that's... I mean, we haven't seen our other units in... Yana Fim... Fim Guard. Well, we saw some Fim Guard early on. Yeah, because we had... we started with some, but they, uh, got when I lost my army early on. Anyway, that will be it for Warhammer 2 Total War Amir for tonight. I'll thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you'll join me again next time.